the next step I'm going to show you is going to be step seven, which is the gathering, then step eight, which is the narrow hem on the, uh, the ruffle. And then I'm also going to show you how you're going to attach the ruffle to the sleeve. So that's going to be step nine. <clears throat> so the first thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, the gathering. And if you can't, if you don't ever remember what gathering is, if you look in your instruction guide in the glossary here, it will give you a definition of how to do a gathering. But I do mine a little bit different than the glossary because in the glossary it tells you to stitch it on the seam line, which is 5 eighths. I don't like to do that because when I attach a ruffle to, say, the bottom of a skirt or in this case on the sleeve, I have to be spot on stitching exactly on that seam so that the, the gathering stitches won't be seen. So how I fix that is I stitch just a little bit less than the seam so that I can hide that. So that's what I'm gonna show you now is um, I've got, we're gonna do the notched edge of the sleeve and I'm gonna line that up on the line before five eighths. And I'm gonna start at the seam. And you wanna make sure you, you wanna put that on basting because having it on basting will allow you to pull your threads a lot easier. You don't back stitch, you just stitch. So I'm gonna do a row that is one line before your five eighths, and go all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna meet back up with those stitches. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna meet them. Make sure your, your threads are long, because you're gonna need to, to have them long later. Then I'm gonna do another row of basting and I'm going to go to that next line and I'm going to start on the seam and then go all the way around. Make sure when you are sewing your, your gather stitching, the basting stitching, that you do not intersect the previous stitching. That stitching needs to be parallel to each other. If it intersects into your first stitching, then you won't be able to pull it when you gather it. Okay, so now I've met back up with my stitching here. And now I've got a gathered stitch here. Now, when I'm um, gonna gather, uh, or when I gather something and I want to put it on to the bottom of a skirt or on the sleeves or on a collar or whatever, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, segment this into four quarters. So I've got my seam here, and on this end, there's a notch. I didn't do a notch, I just did a little clip. So I've got a clip there. Then I'm gonna fold it in half again, and I'm gonna match that clip with the seam and make that exactly half like that. Then I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna do a little tiny snip on both of those layers. So now this um, ruffle is divided into four sections, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. So we have this section, which is one, and then from here to this clip, that's two, from this clip to that clip is three, and then from this one to there is four. And that'll be important later on, and I'll show you. The next step, which is step eight, is you're gonna have a 
you, you've gone, to, I've already gone to the iron and I've pressed the hem, which is the opposite of the notched edge. I've pressed up five eighths here. So what I'm gonna do is do a rolled hem that's five eighths and I'm just gonna tuck in those raw edges and pin that in place. So tuck under and then pin. that and tuck under and you can go the iron and press this under if you want okay. and press under okay. now I've got it all turned under so now I'm going to stitch it. And where I'm going to start is I'm going to start here at the seam. Now I need to move this back to my two and a half stitch so it's not basting. And I'm going to stitch close to the folded edge that's closest to the fabric, not the edge. And I'm not going to back stitch. I'm going to meet back up and then stitch over it. back up with my stitching I'm just gonna go stitch like three or four stitches over and that'll count as my back stitching and always clip your threads as you go it makes it keeps your, your uh, project nice and clean all right so now I've got the hem in and I've got the basting in so now that segmenting where I clipped the little um, edges up here. Now that's where it comes into play. So here's the, this is the, the top of the sleeve. As you can see the rounded edge there. And then I'm gonna work with this edge. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've got my seam here. There's my notch. There's my notch. I'm gonna fold it in half match the notch with the seam and I'm going to do a little clip here so now I've got this the sleeve the bottom of the sleeve in four sections there's one there's two there's three and there's four now you're going to put right sides together match my seams here oh but first what I want to do is I want to tie these I want to tie all of these um, strings together so that when I start pulling my uh, basting threads to gather it it won't pull out I've had that happen before so I'm just going to knot all these threads together Now I can put them together. So I'm going to put the base here with that seam there. And I'm going to pin on the, the ruffle part because that's where I'm going to sew it. So I'm going to pin there and then I'm going to find that little cut here, that first cut. 
and then I found my first cut on the sleeve. I'm gonna match those two. And then continue. And then my notch is right here. So I'm gonna put that in the center, right there and then that. Then find my other little clip, which is right here, and I'll look for the other one. And then I'm going to put that in there. In here. And then now I've got it all pinned in place. And the reason why I had to do this was because you could sit there and pull all those, you could pull that thread and just gather it all at one time. But then what'll happen is you'll either gather too much or you'll have a whole lot of gathering on the top part of, or the, if this is the inside of the sleeve, you might have a whole lot of gathering on the outside, but not any on the inside. And now we'll be able to um, evenly distribute the gatherings in each section. So how do we do that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pin and I'm gonna gather underneath the, the threads here and I'm gonna pull those. And I'm gonna just Gather this slowly, and you're going to pull both threads. You might have to do one at a time and then go back and pull the other one. And you're going to pull that until the fullness is taken up and it's e the ruffle is even with the sleeve. So here I'm just going to move those over there. So I still need to pull a little bit more. looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and pull that other one so that it's equal. Once you get the way you like it, then what you'll do is you'll cleat that around that pin. When you have a whole lot of gathering, it, it cleats a little bit better, but there's not a lot on this, so I'm just gonna wrap it around that pin to hold that. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna readjust these gathers. So if you can see in the video, it's real bunchy right here, but flat right here. So what I'm gonna do is smooth that out so that it's equal, has an equal ruffle from here to here. And then I'll pin that in place. that one section done. Then I'm going to do the X section. Then I'm going to do the next section. And then I'm going to do the next section. But I had already worked on the other one. So I'm going to finish this last section so that I can show you how to stitch it. So I've already done the three other sections and I have one more left on this one um, sleeve. So what I'm doing is where this pin is, I'm going to go underneath here pull the threads like so and then finish gathering my that last section a bit more and that looks good now pull the other thread That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to cleat that. I'm going to wrap it around that pin. Hold it. Finish pinning it down. 
Yeah, I'm starting to move those little gathers a little bit. So it's all gathered, it's all pinned, it's ready to sew now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew five eighths and I'm going to start at the seam because that's going to be underneath the arm. So I'm going to stitch five eighths, make sure it's not on basting, make sure your edges are together. Once again, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to back stitch because I'm just gonna meet back up with my, um, my original stitching. And as I'm sewing, I kind of like adjust my gathers a little bit, just to give it another final adjustment. And be careful about the pins because they like to hide in the, in the, the gathering. So be careful of that. I got a little bit to fix that. back up to the so stitch over that. And give it a hair cut there. Alright, so there's so I'm gonna look at it. So now you can see my little ruffle on that end down here. But I need to do a seam finish. So once again we're gonna do a zigzag seam finish. And I think I'm gonna trim all these off first. Let's zigzag that.
to the stitching. Be careful, be really, really careful when you're cutting um, that you don't cut your sleeve. So just make sure everything's pulled flat here. And I'm holding my hand here so I definitely gets in the way. I don't cut anything I shouldn't cut. Give it a good pressing. So that's one sleeve done there. 